guys welcome to my channel today it's your girl love in the city today I'm going to be sharing with you a little dress up I plan to do on this lovely lamp shade which is burlap tan and I'm going to zhuzh up my flower arrangement that I thrifted from parks uh, Park Avenue thrift here in the ATL and um, what I did recently purchase is I purchased that flower arrangement well that flower um, attachment there uh, I ordered that from uh, Amazon and as well I ordered the chevron print burlap ribbon from Amazon however the black burlap ribbon I purchased from my local Dollar Tree store so uh, yeah I'm going to zhuzh it up a little bit I don't quite know how I'm going to start off so I may not film that for you guys I'm so sorry but I will share with you because um, the reason why I, I don't think I'm going to turn the camera on when I first do it because I really don't know how I want to do it so I got to sit and think and try to arrange it to see how I want to do it but I will share with you the end results and tell you what I did and um, yeah hopefully it's going to come out the way that uh, I'm thinking that I want to do it Okay guys, I'll be right back and thanks so much for tuning in. Okay guys? Okay guys, I decided to go ahead and turn the camera back on and let you guys see what I have decided to do with this lampshade and this bouquet. Let's see if I can get in the chair right. Um, this bouquet of flowers, so hopefully I got you guys in view. So you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? Alright, what I have decided to do is very, very basic, okay? Since this is so wide, this is just about as wide as the lampshade, okay? I uh, still don't have a high enough, okay? Hold on, guys. Bear with me, okay? Now, I've decided to just go ahead and put this around the entire lampshade. And then I'm just gonna go over it uh, with the with the smaller strip of the black, so I can make all of that tie in. And then I am going to let's see here adhere this uh, blossom on to my uh, lampshade. Now, if I decide to do anything more elaborate, I'll will update you but I doubt it um I was thinking about maybe if I had enough left over whether or not I wanted the ribbon to hang down but I don't think I, I don't want it to be too gaudy just simplistic and um uh, yeah I initially thought about piping with the burlap there but I don't want to totally cover the shade so that's what I'm going to do with that all right and I'm gonna come back to that that's really really simple I got my glue gun heated up now here I have my stapler stapler I'm going to just fold this over I cut enough strip of the black as well so you can see that overlay under the underneath and um, I'm just gonna fold this in half and just kind of just loop it or tie it around the plant I want to call it a plant. I've been calling it thing a plant for oh, days now. And it's just stuck in my head. The bouquet of flowers. Get it in your skull, son. Yeah. And then I drop it. How about that? Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not, not editing any of this out. Okay. All right. So hopefully you guys see what I'm doing. Because I got the camera to the side. I keep leaning over. Now this burlap was already on there. I'm not going to take that off. I'm just going to kind of tuck it. If it'll tuck. Okay. Just tuck that a little bit there. Push that back so you can see what's going on. Okay. I'm just going to staple it together. Make sure it's even on both ends here pretty much. Yeah, let me just give it a little slide over. Now 
what? Let me go ahead and staple this so it doesn't come loose on me. Just put a little staple in it, which is going to be hidden. Bam. That way I'm not worried about it falling apart on me. Because this burlap is, you know, it kind of has a mind of its own somewhat. Come on, thing. Okay. Now, I haven't stapled it and tied it down yet, okay, because I want to show you this little piece here. I'm going to take this little piece here once I staple it together, and I'm going to feed it through and make it hold down with this little piece here, just to give it that pop of color as well. Yeah, I'm different. And, yeah, I'll just give it that little pop of color. So, let me just go ahead and jump right in. I'm just going to kind of crisscross it. Make it really tight, though. And then I'll pull all that down. But for now, I'm just going to crisscross it. I don't make it too tight because i got to feed that thing through there. I just thought about that. Okay. Hopefully my staple <laughs> is going to go through here and not disappoint me. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's try it one more time on this one. Okay. It's... it's it's done well enough. I'll try and fix it once I loop this through because I didn't want it too tight. Anyway, while I feed the burlap piece through. And hopefully it's going to work out like I envisioned it in my head at the time. Uh oh, I might have to hot glue this down because it's not going to stay. I don't even know if it's even worth doing it. Oi! I might have to. Um, probably should have just taken a piece of uh, the teal. It's gonna be it's gonna be covered anyway, so I'm not even gonna trip on that. But I am gonna touch it with a little hot glue to each other. It's falling apart. Gee whiz. Dollar Tree. Come on, y'all. Lord. That's not even going to work. I'm going to need a bigger piece. Okay, guys. Hold on. I got to get off camera and get a bigger piece. Hey, guys. I'm back. I decided to just go ahead and cut another piece of the same teal burlap. Because it's a little bit more dense and sturdier than the uh, Dollar Tree one. But uh, yeah, I'm still gonna kind of fold it a little bit so it'll meet. You know, let's just pull it down some and then tuck it a little bit. Kind of like, you know, how you have that middle piece for a bow. Yeah, that's, that's my, my idea. Okay, this is the hot temp. Hope this one. A lot came out. I didn't burn my hand. So I'm just going to hold it there lightly. Oh, Lord, yes, it's hot, girl. Girl, it is hot. Ooh, baby. Now I got to make sure I be careful. I'm going to squeeze all the dirt and glue out. Get your life. Mm -mm -mm. I got it because it just burned the heck out of me. Let me tap some in the middle so it can stay folded. There, that way I ain't struggling. Just the struggle was real with that one. And I'm gonna tap it there. Oops. That jump from the flame when it be coming out. Oh, I got it together, y'all. Okay. I'm not obstructing the vision. Let's see. Okay. Now, then I'm gonna take that one piece that I had left at the top that I didn't glue down. I'm going to tap this on front of this. Come on, baby. All right. Sorry about the glue in my fingers. It happens. Yeah, I'll be just going to keep going. Woohoo! Woohoo! But I'm going to hold it down. Just 
put this back on the sink and through now. I still might try to put a staple in it just so it don't come loose. I don't know. It seems to be holding down. Oh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Let me have a small glue. I'm going to have to hold it. Hold it for a few minutes. Okay, let me just try to turn it upright and hold it. And see, the plan is to have some of this ribbon coming out like a little peekaboo. And then I'm going to cut like a little, you know, like a little triangle at the end there. So it'll look, look cute on the end and not just blunt cut on the end like that. <laughs> All right, y'all. For time's sake, I'm going to try to let this thing go. I might have to hold it down off camera. This is going to take a minute. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if it's going to look right there. Because I envisioned it to look. burlap is not easy to work with like I thought it would be. It's my first time working. And then I didn't cut it straight, of course. get the idea of what I want to do. Let me at least cut it straight because then I'll be mad. <laughs> I'm going to work back and trim off more of the burlap than I want to. It's just not as thick. But yeah, I was uh, kind of blown away when I saw the Chevron print burlap at the Dollar Tree. What? Yeah. Where did I get this from? Uh, if you're here in Atlanta, I got it from the Dollar Tree in Jones Creek because John Creek is near me. John Creek is not that far from me. Like, oh yeah but then I think the other Dollar Tree there's, there's a couple Dollar Trees around me but then the other Dollar Tree that I, Paul and I go to a lot uh, the last time I went in there to look for the uh, Spanish Moss they actually had polka dot burlap it was black you know burlap with the black polka dots so I was like oh that's cute alright now the ends aren't quite as what I thought, uh, how I thought they would be, but hopefully you guys are getting this in the camera. You see how I folded it over, and it's actually holding pretty good here. Yeah, I'm just going to tuck that other part down, because if ever what, one day come up, you know, us women, see, and then I'm going to bend it, so and turn it, bend and turn. So it have that little tuck in it like that, y'all. You'll see that. It's just simple. I'm gonna make sure I take pictures of it just in case I don't uh, have uh, the full vision for you. And just kind of pull that down a little bit and see it's gonna sit on my dresser. And that and my dresser is oh my dresser our dresser is black. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have that. Just peeking out, just peeking out. I don't think I'm gonna put a bow 
not a bow, but like a another piece of flower there. I don't know. Unless I unless I find something that's like really cute and make that bling or something. But other than that, I'm just gonna leave it how it is, how it's just kind of haphazardly, uh, you know, pulled up like they have it. And then, of course, I've added this to that. All right, guys. This is done. I'm going to put this to the side because I know this video is running on on. And uh, I don't want to hold y'all up all day with my my little DIY. So let's go ahead and get this baby popping. It's already on here. I already got it pulled tight. So instead of putting any uh, burlap on my lampshade because I may want to change it, I'm just going to put the burlap on the top of this burlap. I'm going to pull this other piece of burlap down over it. Excuse me. And just put the glue on the burlap. Sound like I'm tongue tied. And put it down. And I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to use a little glue here from this glue gun. Ooh, Lord. I'll be trying not to squeeze out too much. Because, you know, that comes through them little holes right there. Okay. Make sure I get it in there. Bam. And gently press because I don't want to scald my fingers. And give, ooh, yeah, it came out. It's warm. It wasn't too hot. And give it a little hole, a little pressing hole. A little pressing hole. And of course, I'm going to take you into my bedroom with some final shots at the end. Okay. I might have to take my lighting in the room because it's. We have the, and then because I have two more lampshades that um, let me see how much time I've been on here. Nine minutes, okay. I may come, I'm gonna show you. Um, I have two other lampshades, they're not burlap, so it's not matchy matchy, but I, I bought them uh, at home a couple weeks ago, and uh, they're tan lampshades. And uh, actually, I bought the lamp and the lampshades. I think the lamp itself was. $17.99 and it's a teal color with little specks of gold in it and it's kind of tall on the spindle and uh, I said okay this is what I'm gonna do uh, I bought uh, some flowers that's burlap uh, similar to this but not exactly but it's burlap and it's tan burlap and I put, I'm gonna put this chevron print on the other ten lampshades that aren't burlap, but I'm gonna put a burlap flower on the front of it so it'll kind of all tie in together. And I'll make sure I show you when I do that lamp. It's super quick. And then of course I'll take pictures uh in my bedroom where I have the lamp and everything so you guys can see it. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and attach. And that's gonna be the back. I probably should have let that be there. That's going to end up in the side because this thing right here in the back. Oh, well, you can't really see it. Okay. That's going to end up being my back now because I don't want that line showing from the side. So, okay. Here we go. Oh, almost forgot to do this. Almost forgot this. Okay. Let's put this on. Sorry guys, I had to lift it up to make sure I had it centered. Okay, and as you can see, I was gonna, I had thought about tying it into a bow and putting it on there, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Because it's feminine enough in there, I think I'm gonna try to leave this kind of unisex, just put this um, touch of uh, black on it, just like I did uh, that situation over there. Okay, I got some left over. I may put a touch of black on the other. I didn't anticipate doing that, but hey, you know, it comes up as you go. That's enough. Ooh, yes, Lord Jesus, that's hot. Ooh, baby, that burns, because the holes are bigger on this dog tree burlap, and it's thinner. <laughs> Mmm, that's smarter. That hurt, y'all. Be careful. I'm working with burlap. <laughs> I'm a witness. I just burned the mess out of my finger. That's going to smart a couple of days. Cut off all this excess. 
success, success. And make sure you end in the same spot pretty much. I can overlap a little bit, but it's okay. It's in the same area where, you know, it's turned around. And this flower already has the felt on it. And I bought some extra felt anyway from uh, Be Lobby. So I'm just going to put all this here glue. Maybe I'm going to push it down a little bit. Oh, girl, too much now. Pray that I have this right. Look at that! Look how cute that is! Yes! I like it. Even if you don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Bam! Okay. Let me just show you real quick here. This is done. Boom! That is done, and you can see the little black on. Make sure when I see it's gonna show anyway when I sit it down. Boom! All that is gonna tie in, and now let me go and get the other two lampshades. I'm probably just gonna show you one lampshade and do it, and then um, you guys will see pictures at the end. You guys have been great. Hang on. Okay, guys, here I am with the decoration that I was going to put on my lamp, the other lampshade, which is this here. It's a little different than the other one. The other one is was burlap, this is not burlap, but it's tan and I'm just gonna attach this like this on to here. Okay, and I'm gonna put the strip of black in and give it a pop of color, but it's not gonna be as wide as the other because I did not want it to be exact. I got this uh, add-on here from Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, but the thing with this one is it has a clip on it, but I'm just going to glue it down. Initially, I was just going to pop that off and use the area where it's just Velcroed on, but it's, you're not going to see it on that lamp anyway. So, instead of trying to break that and pop that off, I'm just going to leave it on there because you never know. I may change it later, and it already has the, the gold um, embellishment diamond shape thing in the middle, whatever you can call it diamond gin all right guys let's just jump we're gonna just jump right into this and we're gonna hope I don't burn my finger again all right I'm trying to pull this as taut as I can I don't want the glue per, per se exactly on my lampshade but if it gets on there hey it gets on there lampshade on a cost like I don't know how much the lampshade cost. $9.99? Yeah. $9.99 at, at home. Alright, here we go. I got it pulled tight and I think I got it even. Let me just put it on the burlap itself. Hit that side. Hit this end. If y'all hear my phone ringing in a minute, I apologize because it is almost time for the hubby to get off from work and he always calls me when he's leaving the job to let me know he is on his way home. But you never know, I always got some honeydew list or something going on, but he calls me every day regardless when he's getting off. Alright, I got a mess going here, but we ain't gonna worry about that right now. Okay. That's gonna be my back side. Already. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna do the strip of black on here in the middle as such. And I'm gonna turn it just to make sure I got everything tight. Nice and tight and make sure it's even as possible because you glue it down. That's why I don't glue it in the middle. If I need to shift it over slightly. Okay. Now I got that pulled tight. Now this where I need to be careful because this glue is high as all get out. And it ain't no joke. With that situation. Oh 
like that look you that time and then throw it into a little warm to the touch perfect i'm working through it all right that's the back side of that make sure that's even okay and then here we go i'm gonna place let me see how i'm gonna place this because it's got that clip on it i'm just gonna place it like that right there on that hump but on the flatter part of this thing here. Oh geez, see? I always squeeze out too much. Be careful. I'm just gonna kinda hold it for a sec. Now I'm not gonna fan the other one because you just saw me do this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and voila show you that and I will make sure I take a quick picture of all of it sitting here on the table and then I will make sure you guys see it in my bedroom now there are some things I'm still working on in my bedroom so yeah don't be talking about nothing to match in my room <laughs> just tacking it again make sure it stays we, we don't have any children here to mess with anything anyway. It's just Paul and myself. So I ain't gonna worry about nobody pulling the bowls off. The grandbaby, she five, but she live out of state. Now, unless she come pulling on my stuff, that's a different thing. All right, y'all. Voila, there it is. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I didn't have the, <laughs> the camera lights on in here earlier. I just flicked them on. It still looks dark in here to me. But okay, guys, here we go. Let me get the other one done and then I am going to show you guys uh, the final final ending. Okay guys? Alright, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and share it. Leave me a comment guys. I'll talk to you later because I'm going to end everything in pictures. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.